Hi! In this video, you'll see how to manage and backup projects. Here, I'll use an AirFly Pro, but the procedure is the same for all Blue Pill products. You may want to run more than one setup on your panel. This could be controlling an ATEM video switcher one day and controlling vMix the next, or controlling different camera models on different types of productions. This is easily handled using projects. You can store as many projects as you like, and switching between them is fast. You also use projects to make backups of your configurations. Let's look at Reactor, the configuration manager for Blue Pill. First off, you should know there is no save button. All changes you make are automatically stored in the active project. On the Home tab, click Change Project to open the Manage Projects window. Here you see a list of your projects. You can Create New Project. You can open project details to edit or duplicate it. And you can delete projects. At all times, you'll have an active project. Here we activate another. A project consists of three parts. Panel collection, this is normally just your single panel, but a blue pill can manage other blue pill and Unisketch panels. Device collection, these are the third party devices you control. And configuration, these are the commands and layers assigned to the buttons and knobs. The three parts can be reused or referenced between projects. You can, for example, make a device collection with all your devices, and every time you create a new project, you reuse the same device collection. Click a project to see its details and make sure Show Advanced is enabled. Here you select which parts to use. When reusing a part, you'll see a notice regarding shared properties. Here you can decide whether to reference the original file or to make a new independent copy of it. If a part is referenced, making changes to it in any project that use it will affect them all. Please note, all projects are stored locally on the Blue Pill device and only here. For this reason, we highly recommend that you export your projects, especially if you made your own custom configurations. That will be your only backup. Open the Manage Projects window. Click Import Export and click Export. Here you can select a project and choose which parts to include. We'll choose our first project and include all three parts. Hit Export to download the file to your computer. Check that the file is in your Downloads folder. Great! We now have a safety copy of our project. Remember, this is your only backup. Now, let's import the file again. In the Manage Projects window, click Import Export and select Import. Open the file browser and select the file we exported before. Click Upload and click Import. Since a project with the same name already exists, we are asked to solve this. We'll keep the Rename option and click Resolve. We are now asked if we want to activate this project. We click Yes. Now you see the imported project is displayed on the list, just having a number added to it. A final word on import and export is that you can also use it to share projects with other Blue Pill devices. You just export the file from one and import on another. If both sender and receiver are the same model, then everything will go smooth. But if they are different models, for example going from a PTC Fly to an AirFly Pro, which have very different hardware layout, you'll get errors because the hardware doesn't match but it may still be a good way to transfer your own configurations or device collections between panels. All right.
Now you know how to manage blue pill projects and very important how to make backups. Please watch our other how-to videos on reactor setup and configuration. Thank you for watching.